Okay guys, I'm gonna show you a couple different strategies for multiplying 12 by six. The first one I'm going to show you is area model. So you're gonna take 12 times six and you're gonna break up your 12 into expanded form, so 10 and two. Okay, and you're gonna put 10 on one side and two on the other. Okay, and then you're gonna put six on top. So you have 10 times six is 60. Two times six is 12. 60 plus 12, two times zero is two, or sorry, two plus zero is two. Six plus one is seven. So your answer here is 72. Okay, for the next one, doubling and halving, so you are going to double one side, so multiply it by two. Two times two is four, two times one is two, 24, and you're gonna divide one side. Six divided by two is three. Then you're gonna take 24 and three and you're gonna multiply them together. So you can do it using an area model as well. So I'll do it down here for you real small. You can do 20 plus four and put your three on top. So 20 times three, well two times three is six and you have a zero there. So it's 20 times three is 6D. Four times three is 12. So again, we have 60 plus 12 which is 72. Or if you know how to do a standard form, I'll do it for you kind of over here in the corner. 24 times three. Three times four is 12, carry the one. Three times two is six plus one is seven. Okay. Now for ratio table, the reason I left so much space here is because I'm actually going to show you how to make your ratio table and we're gonna go all the way to 12 because I don't I know that a lot of students get a little nervous when they hear the word ratio table but what's really cool about ratio table is if you can skip count if you think oh man my favorite way of multiplying things is skip counting then ratio table is a really good strategy for you because really all that a ratio table is is you're just you're just skip counting over and over so I'm gonna show you because it's basically saying we have six 12 times, or 12 six times, and we're gonna, we're gonna make a ratio table all the way to 12, counting by sixes, skip counting by sixes. So I'm gonna just number this all the way to 12. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, okay? We're gonna skip count all the way to 12, and we're gonna skip count by sixes. So I'll make a line right under here, and we're gonna Connect all of these. Okay. And we're gonna count by six. So we have six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60, 66, and 72. Now, some of you might be thinking, ah, I'm really good at skip counting until I get right around here. If that's the case, then start by doing the numbers you know, or even start at your six, and then just count up by six. Because really all you're doing here is you're just adding six. Each time you move over, you're adding six. All the way. Okay, so what you could just do is you could just go six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. 
36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66. 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72. So really, you're just adding six to each of these numbers down here. And if you don't know, if you don't know, don't know all these already, maybe you don't know the chant yet, the sixes chant yet, then just add six each time. And when you get to numbers like 10, where you know 10 times six is 60, or 11, where you know six times 11 is 66, that's a good way to double check that as you've been counting along the way that you're on the right track, okay? All right, I hope this is helpful. Leave me some comments if you is anything else you want to see. Thank you guys. Bye.